Hello everybody and welcome back to the latest edition of Ring Respect Radio. As always, I am your host, the real Bobby Munson, and I want to thank you for tuning into the show again this week. And as always, I want to remind you, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so you know whenever we release new content here on Ring Respect Radio. And also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it around so everybody else can enjoy a little ring respect in their life, too. Speaking of ring respect, I want to talk for a minute about HIW Wildside, which, hey, guess what? I am a commentator for Wildside TV, so go out and enjoy HIW Wildside TV every Saturday. And you're going to want to, folks, because guess what? Saturday is here. Saturday, June the 16th is here. And that means that HIW Wildside TV is bringing you the finale of our Wildside TV special of Battle Arts. That means you are going to get the match. Michael Allen Richard Clark versus the American Nightmare and Cody Rhodes. And I promise you folks, it does not disappoint. You're going to want to go check that out as also on the card that night or on the show that night anyway there is the five man contract on a pole match and what a classic that was as well too so you're going to want to go over to HIW Canada's YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe to that channel and watch for the upload coming later today much later today anyway um, probably sometime in the afternoon but yes it will be the finale of Battle Arts, the Wildside TV special, and then we will be bringing you much more Wildside TV action next Saturday as well, too. So make sure to turn on those notifications so you know when those all get released. That being said, if you're going to be in the Prince Albert area on June the 23rd, that's Saturday, June the 23rd, the stars of HIW Wildside are going to be in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. So I want you to go on over to HIW. Canada.com and I want you to go ahead and pick up tickets to the wild side show that is going to be there I had been told that there is very likelihood that this is going to be a wild side TV taping unfortunately yours truly the real Bobby Munson unable to make it that day very very sorry to all my fans out in Prince Albert and area but at the same time hopefully we will have somebody filling in on the camera work that evening so that we can get that done and I'll be able to get that all edited up and then along with my esteemed colleague the man with the angelic voice Papa Smokes will be able to call all the action as if you were there just in case you are unable to also make it on June the 23rd in Prince Albert. Uh, speaking of HIW as well though too we have another big event coming up in Regina it is going to be on Friday August the 31st this is the Pile O' Bones battle royal folks it is going to be off the hook we have got very 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 special guest hardcore legend Mick Foley is going to be in the house that night and along with also Chelsea Green so you're going to want to check that out head on over to HIWCanada.com to book your tickets they are selling out fast folks so make sure to get yours don't wait till the last minute and find out that you're unable to get in we are going to pack that house. It is going to be loud and off the hook, and we are going to show Mick Foley and Chelsea Green just how wild we can be in the city that rhymes with fun, Regina. That is Friday, August 31st. Go to HIWCanada.com to book your tickets right now. Before we get on with the regular show of Ring Respect Radio, uh, many of you might know from listening to me over on Wildside TV or also know from recent episodes of the show a little bit about Bobby Fit. Bobby Fit is all about body, soul, and mind. It is a trifecta effect that I'm using in order to bring balance and restore my life. And I know that I want to encourage all of you to do the same as well. Uh, it has been a very encouraging program that I have set up and done for myself. And, you know, and we're going to start with step one. And what I want you to do in step one is to take 10 minutes a day over the next week. And I challenge you to do this over the next week. Take 10 to 15 minutes even out of your day to sit down, put on some relaxing music, or find a meditation video online. There's many great meditation videos. I would recommend a very, very interesting gentleman named 
uh, Jason Stevenson, whose YouTube channel you can find. I will also put an annotation card up on the screen here so that you can find his channel as well. But he is a very, very great person to listen to with different meditations. So I want you to go and check that out because I feel that that is something that you will also enjoy. And it will bring brand new balance into your mind and encourage you to have a better way of life. It's going to increase your brain power, increase your relaxation as well too. So all that stress and negativity that has been plaguing your life can go away. It's changed my entire life around this program. I was uh, very overweight, depressed, angry at the world even. A lot had been going on in my life and it was almost like a true dark passenger had taken control of me. Like a person that was not me, that was taking control of my life and I had to get rid of that somehow. And so I've used these steps and these powers in my life to get rid of and exercise those demons and get rid of the dark passenger that laid within. And that is why you get nothing but the true, the real Bobby Munson from now on. And I want to encourage you all to keep up doing the same. So make sure, keep the body fit, keep the mind fit and do what you can because you know what? Somebody cares about you and I want to make sure that you all care about yourselves too. Moving forward with Ring Respect Radio and it's predictions time, folks, because we got WWE events tomorrow. We got, or tonight, I guess, by now, Saturday, June the 16th, and also tomorrow, Sunday, June the 17th, day, which is Father's Day. I know some of you are going to be celebrating with your fathers watching Money in the Bank. But before you do, how about the night before the eve of Father's Day, we get NXT TakeOver Chicago, and it is going to be an amazing event, folks. It is going to be something else. It's going to be off the hook. That's for damn sure. Um, you know, but now that we have done a little bit of talk of meditation, hopefully you've taken a moment to do some meditation even today. Uh, I know that I have, so definitely my mind is more open. And hopefully with these new found mind powers, we're going to be able to predict the winners of both NXT TakeOver Chicago and WWE's Money in the Bank. So here we go. Let's take a stab at this. We're going to start off with the NXT Tag Team Champions, the Undisputed Era. They're going to defend their titles against the team of Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. While I really like the team of Lorcan and Birch, I feel that the Undisputed Era are just too hot a commodity at the moment. They're on too much of a hot streak. And so the winners in the end are going to be Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong, the Undisputed Era. They will retain... They're NXT Tag Team Champions. And before we go on to another match, I just want to say props to Pete Dunne and Kyle O'Reilly for their match for the United Kingdom Championship on NXT on Wednesday. One hell of a match. If you have not seen it yet, go ahead and see it because it is a spectacle. Go check it out right now. Next on the card for NXT TakeOver Chicago, we have got Ricochet versus the Velveteen Dream. And before we call a winner, can I just say, as fans, we are all winners when it comes to this particular matchup. Likely to steal the show, as these two are just on fire at the moment. You couldn't ask for two better guys to be paired up in that squared circle on Saturday night. I'm excited for it. I'm sure most of the WWE Universe is excited and going to be buzzing about this one as well too. My mind has told me though that Ricochet is going to walk out the victor at the end of this one. The NXT Women's Championship is going to be defended as champion Shayna Baszler puts her title on the line against the unhinged one, Nikki Cross. Uh, this match is going to be absolutely nuts, folks. That's to say the least, anyway. Um, Baszler has been a total badass. Uh, she has been portrayed the way that any legitimate fighter uh, with her set skills should be portrayed. She is exactly the portrayal that should have been done more so with Ronda Rousey, but doesn't quite feel that way. Ronda seems like too much of a happy fan as opposed to Baszler who seems like a legitimate ass kicker which is what makes her so intimidating and just makes her character I feel personally work a little bit stronger. And then you've got 
Nikki Cross, who delivers great performances inside that squared circle, and she is one hell of a memorable character. This is going to end up being a fantastic match. I'm very much looking forward to it, but despite how much I like Nikki Cross, you know, my heart is saying pick Nikki Cross, but I don't think that's the way it's going to go. My brain says pick smart, and Shayna Baszler is going to retain the NXT Women's Championship at TakeOver Chicago. Next up, it's going to be the feud between Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. They will be taking on each other in a Chicago street fight. We can expect nothing less than total anarchy, but in a good way, though, because these two have been giving us a feud to remember. This is a rivalry, a blood feud. This has been making these two men into absolute stars, and it is going to be a spectacle to behold. Only thing, though, is this time around, I have a feeling, my brain is telling me, Tommy Sports Entertainment is going to be victorious over Johnny Wrestling in this one. And last but not least on the card, it is going to be NXT champion Aleister Black taking on Lars Sullivan. And Lars Sullivan, you know, sometimes he gets a little bit of heat because of, you know, and not the heat that you expect a heel character to get. Heat because people don't quite buy into him just yet. Don't think he's quite there yet. But you know what? He is coming a long way. He is a big, sizable man. And you know what? He can talk on a microphone. There is potential there for sure. So you know what? There's a lot of time to develop Lars Sullivan. He is going to turn into something special. I'm sure of it. But as much potential and great things that are there and as intimidating a look as what that man has... I don't think it's going to be quite enough to put away Aleister Black this Saturday. Aleister Black will remain your NXT champion at the end of NXT TakeOver Chicago. So hopefully the brain powers have given me what I needed to predict those five matches. Hopefully I'm going to go five for five. But let me know in the comments below what you think are going to be the winners this Saturday at NXT TakeOver Chicago. And we'll see who's the victor when the night is over but then we're going to come over to sunday night june the 17th again that is father's day and it is money in the bank folks yes uh we are going to start off by predicting the match between big Cass, daniel bryan or Cass, or whatever they're going to call them anyway those two this is a match yeah, I could honestly probably do without. I'm not too excited about it. You know, I hope the two of them can prove me wrong, though. I'm not quite sold on Cass as a singles competitor just yet. But there's still time for him to win me over, and hopefully he can eventually. Uh, show me what you made of there, Cass. Daniel Bryan will do his best to make this match work. And in doing so, he will also be the one coming out victorious. The Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins is set to defend against Elias. And you know what? Bravo to these two guys for the year that they are currently having. This is the start of a very interesting rivalry. I, I hope that it's going to be prolonged. But in doing so, it might, you know, piss a few people off this weekend because I feel like it's not going to be an absolute clean finish or a distinct winner by any means. This one I feel is going to go the way of Seth Rollins, but it's going to go via DQ so that this rivalry can have some legs. And hopefully it does because these two men deserve to have a prolonged rivalry. They will get their time to have a proper full-on match with a definitive winner just yet. But I feel that on this night, we're going to see Seth Rollins win as a result of disqualification. Let's find out who where it goes. Next up, Bobby Lashley is going to be taking on Sami Zayn. And, uh, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Anyway, I, uh, now that I'm done yawning. Um, anyway, there's no, refault, uh, no fault sorry, to Bobby Lashley, but dude, he, he just sounds so soft in his promos, and it's, it's kind of tiring. It's, it's really boring in a sense. You know, this is a big, intimidating man, very physical individual, and it just doesn't sound right when he does the talking. It's kind of like when Brock Lesnar talks. It doesn't seem 
like he's quite the ass kicker he should be and stuff like that that's why the guys like this need someone there to do the talking for them if the talking is done for them they can come across a lot more badass and that's the problem with bobby lashley currently in my personal opinion Maybe some of you disagree. Let me know what you think of Bobby Lashley and the way he's being treated upon his return to WWE. Um, Sami Zayn has been the one saving grace in this otherwise yawn factor of a rivalry. Um, Sami has been doing everything to make this somewhat interesting, but yet these prolonged, really boring segments have just been awful. Like, I mean, this is like looking at a train wreck at this point. Um, sadly, I... I feel that there's no win-win situation here at all. It doesn't matter what you do. I mean, I think the only way you you really get something proper out of this is to have Sami Zayn pull off the win and, that nobody expects and really give him a boost. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. My brain doesn't think that's what's going to happen. And I don't think anyone out there thinks that's what's going to happen. Certain Bobby Lashley is walking away the victor, and that's who I'm picking in this one. Hopefully it kills the rivalry right there uh the bludgeon brothers are going to be defending their smackdown live tag team championship against the good brothers anderson and gallows and you know what if this one is given some proper time to to really flesh out i feel like this could be a very strong memorable tag team matchup I feel the Bludgeon Brothers are going to get the victory, but it's going to be a very narrow victory. I think there's going to be some close calls, even a spot where Anderson and Gallows look to have the win, but the referee isn't there in time, you know, allowing the Bludgeon Brothers to get in there and pick up the victory and hopefully giving life to a rivalry here that could possibly be something unique and interesting and a rivalry a revival of sorts for the Good Brothers, which, you know, I think they desperately deserve and need. I mean, they have been at this for quite some time, and they should be a lot more respected than they currently have been in their run with WWE. Then we've got Roman Reigns taking on Jinder Mahal, the match where I'm certain most of the WWE universe and most of the Smarks watching around the world are going to go and have their piss break. I, on the other hand, are gonna find a little bit of interest in this one i know these two can give performances definitely um you know i have a funny feeling too that they're gonna go with an absolute shock win i think everyone's going to suspect roman reigns to walk out victorious but i feel like this is their opportunity to go for another shocker and go with the jinder mahal win it's one that people aren't going to cry too much about at the same time but it'll do a lot for jinder mahal and it also can you know Show that maybe Roman's hitting a rough patch. You know, he's not quite getting get his stuff together. He's not quite finding out where he needs to be in the squared circle. He needs to re-find himself. And maybe that will help him out a little bit as he goes as he goes forward. And maybe, you know, garner some sympathy with the crowd eventually. We'll wait and see. But anyways, I'm calling Jinder Mahal for the win. Call me crazy, but that's where we're going with that one. Uh, Car Carmella going to be defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Asuka. And what will honestly be, you know, a, probably a pretty decent match, hopefully anyway. Um, you know, Carmella, I mean, she can she can do pretty all right in that ring, given the opportunity. And we know Asuka can carry a match really well, too. So, I, you know, I expect this one not to be a sleeper or anything like that. It should be pretty entertaining. Uh, I have a funny feeling, though, what we're going to have some sort of a shock finish as well in this encounter Carmella is going to walk away it's still the champion I feel the Iconics are probably going to play a little bit of a role in this one in costing Asuka the match and then it's going to continue on with this whole Asuka currently on a losing streak since coming to Smackdown you know before she really hits her stride and you know inevitably hopefully becomes the women's champion there down the road but I think it's going to be a slow burn and people weren't ready for that they want her to be treated as the top star upon coming in and we know that that's not the way it always goes especially when it comes to the main roster so you have to allow for this to develop not every star was built overnight when coming to the main roster Nia Jax defends against Ronda Rousey. Oh my god, bang me upside the head because if you want to talk about something I do not care about as much as I don't care about the Bobby Lashley and Sami Zayn one, 
This is it, and I'll tell you why. This match should have been a lot more interesting on paper if done correctly. However, due to some really, really mi mixed matched booking at styles and not really knowing who's where and only doing it for the sake of forcing a match between these two right now, it's really been bland in that sense. And you know what? It, it, you know, this is Rousey's first singles match, and it feels like there is no hype to it at all. Not enough hype anyway. Like, it really has fallen flat, and that's what I feel it is. I feel Ronda Rousey is probably going to pick up the win here, and that is where I'm going to go with this one. Um, it could end up in a screwball finish, but, you know, I've called a lot of screwball finishes for this uh, event already. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that I feel like this one's going to go the way of Ronda Rousey. We're going to see a new women's champion on Raw. So how about the Money in the Bank matches themselves? We have the Women's Money in the Bank match. And, you know, there's this whole thing, and I thought this at first too. Natalia wins the match and then cashes in on her friend Ronda Rousey. Now, to me, this is a very likely scenario. But my problem with it is there hasn't been enough development of the friendship between Natalia and Ronda Rousey quite yet. To really pull this one off the way that it should be pulled off. I'm not saying it's not possible that it's going to happen anyway. I just feel like it's too soon to pull that particular one off. So what could possibly happen then? Well, you know, I suspect the Bailey to show up. I expect her to attack Sasha, turn heel, and cost Sasha her opportunity to win the briefcase. Uh, on top of that, as for a winner, we got to pick a winner. Um, I'm going to have to say, even though it would be, you know, more rewarding to give it to somebody who you don't suspect, like Alana or something like that, just because it kind of mixes things up a little bit. I think the safe bet, and I think due to the way the, the ladder match went last year, the safe bet is going to be Becky Lynch wins. Now, moving on to the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. You know, it would be very easy to pick Braun Strowman. I mean, the guy is red hot right now. It would be an obvious choice. But again, I don't feel like this is something Braun needs to prove anything. I mean, they could put this title around Braun Strowman. You know, the Universal title, WWE Championship, it doesn't matter. You could put it on Braun Strowman tomorrow. And there's going to be a lot of people happy and they will buy into it because it works, it fits, it's something that people want. However, I don't see it being needed to done be done with the money in the bank. Uh, does Braun really need to cash in on somebody who's already fallen? No, Braun is going to want to go one-on-one -on -one and get the competition properly. That's exactly how he's been built up and that's exactly what's going to happen. Everything's going to be done to keep Braun from winning this one. Now, I feel that the best options in the match could be The Miz or Rusev. Kevin Owens would also be another interesting choice. I just don't feel it's going to be the way that they go right now. Uh, Rusev, you know, I mean, that would be fantastic. I mean, people would erupt with Happy Rusev Days. I would erupt with a Happy Rusev Day because why the hell not? But at the same time, I feel like the best booking here and the obvious booking is going to be to put this in the hands of The Miz. The Miz is going to walk away your Money in the Bank winner on this one. And then finally, we have AJ Styles defending the WWE Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura in a last man standing match. And oh my God, does this one reek of a cash in, folks. It's a last man standing match at Money in the freaking Bank. It's screams of cash in. And if, if it doesn't, then wow, I'm going to be stunned. But I have a funny feeling these two are going to obliterate each other to the point of no return. And then The Miz is going to come in. He is going to beat them down mercilessly to the point where neither man can respond. He's going to hand over that money in the bank contract to the referee, stand there while a 10 count is made, and steal the WWE Championship. It is going to be getting the whole world talking. It will be the shock ending to money in the bank this year. No one will see no one will see it coming. Well, maybe, maybe someone will see it coming. I'm sure lots of you probably have that thought in your mind too. 
uh, because I'm sure a lot of you have opened your brain powers and taken a look at what's been going on in the landscape of WWE at the moment. And you know, too, that that's likely the way this is all going to go down. Anyways, that is my predictions for WWE's Money in the Bank and also WWE TakeOver Chicago. I hope that you all enjoyed today's episode of Ring Respect Radio. And before we move on out, I also want to say once again to head on over to HIW Canada's YouTube channel so you can check out yours truly, the real Bobby Munson, and my esteemed colleague, the man with the angelic voice, Papa Smokes as we call all the action, and it was an absolute honor. You don't even understand, folks, an absolute honor for me to be, and also for Papa Smokes as well, to be able to call, have the privilege of calling a Cody Rhodes match. You know, we have been doing this now for, this will be the 13th episode of Wild Side TV. So that's 13 weeks that we have been doing episodes of this show. And you know what, Papa Smokes and I, we we do a lot of work with uh, running the audio for this. Uh, it takes a long time. And you know, it's also very nerve wracking. I mean, we are very new to this experience and it is something that we didn't want to do any wrong by the American Nightmare with. So we honestly did our homework we studied up as much as we could we tried to make it fun and entertaining and i think that we did quite well anyway i'm not going to say we did an excellent job but we did quite well and we hope that you will enjoy what we did so make sure to head on over to hiw canada's youtube channel and check that out because it's coming up later today saturday june the 16th the american nightmare cody Rhodes takes on michael allen richard clark and it is one for the ages, folks. Also, the five-man contract on a pole match is on that episode as well, too. Also a fantastic show, so make sure you check that out. And make sure to come and check out any of the HIW Wild Side action when we come live in your area and do our TV tapings as well. Bring out your posters. Bring out all your friends and family. Be loud, be heard, and be seen every single Saturday on Wild Side TV. That is going to be it for me today and us at Ring Respect Radio. We want to thank you for tuning in once again. And before we check out, remember, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what you heard. Give us a good old thumbs up and turn on notifications so you know anytime we release new material here on Ring Respect Radio. That is going to be it for me today. I have been the real Bobby Munson. You're all beautiful, but not quite as beautiful as me. Have yourself a great day.